Welcome to the Husky Howie Show. I'm Lauren the Mule. And I'm Jacob Thorpe. Now, it was a tough battle here in Alaska Airlines Arena today. It was neck and neck all the way throughout the game, but the Huskies managed to pull off the 72 to 68 victory over the Cougars. And let's get straight to those highlights. Wazoo's Brock Modem terrorized the Huskies early, beating Kemp over the top here for two points. And on the very next possession, he gets free off the pick and pop to hit the corner three again over Kemp. Cougars up five zip right off the bat. C.J. Wilcox was active defensively throughout the game as he grabs the steal and finds Gaddy for the transition bucket to get the Huskies' first two points. Then it's Wilcox again contributing to the offense, this time with the sweet mid-range J. Cougars lead by one. Later in the half, it's Aziz Njai with the rejection on Modem. Two minutes later, check out Wilcox as he grabs the rebound and sails through the Cougar defense for the coast-to-coast -coast basket. He would finish with 23 points. Huskies take the lead. But the Cougs would answer right back as Devontae Lacey connects from deep. Wazoo back on top by two now. Royce Woolridge added to the Wazoo lead, getting right to the rack here. UW trailing 12-10. Not for long, though, as Andrew Andrews hits nothing but net from three-point land. Dogs lead by one. Later for Wazoo, it's Will Deloria with the baseline drive past Suggs and over the 7-foot NGI to tie things back up at 14. Not to be outdone, it's Andrews again, this time soaring past the Cougars for the tough layup in traffic. 18-14, UW on top. Then it's Wilcox with the miss. Gaddy gets the rebound, but puts up another miss, and finally Gernard Giroux cleaning up the offensive glass for another Husky hoop. The Dogs suffered a couple defensive breakdowns against the Cougars, this time allowing Delorio to get inside for the easy lane. Leading the Huskies for most of the way in this one, it was Scott Suggs hitting one of his five three-pointers from downtown. But another defensive lapse as the Husky defense parts like the Red Sea to allow the dunk to Wazoo big man DJ Shelton. Then it's Shelton showing his versatility as he drains the three. Cougs up 27-23 now with five minutes left to play in the first half. Remember when I said Suggs had five threes? Well, here's one from the corner off the pump fake to beat the shot clock. And here's another off the sweet pass from Gaddy to tie the score at 32-all with 42 seconds left to play till the half. Then it's Gaddy trying to get his team the halftime lead. He dribbles down the clock and somehow gets his way to the cup for the buzzer-beating layup. Huskies head into the locker room, narrowly leading the Washington State Cougars by a score of 34-32. to But the Cougars would come out of the locker rooms absolutely on fire as Dexter Kernich Drew and Shelton make it rain for the 9-0 Wazoo run to catapult the Cougs to a 7-point lead over the Huskies. 41-34. It's Suggs once again with the spin move, the pump fake, and one through the contact, cutting into the Wazoo lead. Then Gaddy finds Suggs on the cut for the lay-in. Huskies down, 43-41. Modem would keep the Cougs on top, though, using his post moves to evade Desmond Simmons for two of his 18 points. Two possessions later, it's Wilcox coming up short, but Sean Kemp Jr. there with the tip-in to keep the UW within two. But the lead still remained out of reach for the Dogs, as Modem goes up and under for another Cougar bucket. The Cougars scored again on this Woolridge layup, now leading the UW 53-48. With four minutes left in the game, Suggs continued to torch Wazoo from deep, this time to give the Dogs this three-point lead. Wazoo wasn't done yet, though, as Woolridge again to the basket for two. Two minutes left to go in the contest now. With time winding down, Wilcox beats his man off the dribble and finishes with the left-hander. UW on top, 68-61. Following UW turnover, Wazoo's inbound pass is stolen by Wilcox, and that'll do it, folks. That seals the Apple Cup victory for the UW over the in-state rival Washington State Cougars. 72 to 68 for win number 931 at Alaska Airlines Arena. All right, and we're back at Alaska Airlines Arena. Now, Lauren, the Huskies were able to pull out the victory in the second half, but it didn't always seem like that would be the case. Well into the second half, Wazoo had the lead, and it really wasn't until about nine or ten minutes left that the Huskies were able to make their run, take the lead, and take control of the game. What was it that allowed the Huskies to stay with Wazoo and eventually pull out this victory? 
Yeah, what really got the Huskies the win tonight was that everybody played their role. Scott Suggs and C.J. Wilcox both had 23 points, and when your leading scorers are making their baskets, it gives everybody else a lot of confidence, and it allows the point guard to run the floor. Abdul Gaddy had six assists tonight, and if everybody's doing what they're supposed to do, you're most likely going to get the win. That's right, Lauren. But as well as the Huskies played, they wouldn't have won if it wasn't for Wazoo's turnovers. Wazoo had 18 turnovers, and the Huskies scored 25 points off those turnovers. Conversely, Washington State only had 7 points off turnovers, and that really just made the difference in this game. Washington State was hitting their shots just as well as the Huskies. In fact, center DJ Shelton hit 3 of 6 threes, forcing UW center Aziz Njai to the bench because he couldn't get out on those shots. That's right, center Aziz Enjoy only played 13 minutes tonight, but even with him on the bench, the Huskies still pulled off the win, and now they're 8-8 eight and eight in conference play. Pac-12 tournament's coming up. How do you think the Huskies are going to perform? Well, how they perform in Vegas, Lauren, all depends on these last two games. If they can win against USC and UCLA, they'll take a four-game winning streak into the Pac-12 tournament. Now, that's a bunch of games in just a few short days, and momentum is everything in these quick tournaments like that. It's really a shame the Huskies dropped early, easy games to Oregon State and Utah, or else they'd be right in the thick of things for a Pac-12 title in the regular season. As it stands, they probably need to win the Pac-12 tournament going forward, but if they can win these last two games, that'll be a lot easier task. That's right. They do have two more games to build up some more momentum before the Pac-12 tournament. They're going to take on USC at Wednesday night here in Alaska Airlines Arena at 8.30 p.m. For Jacob, I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.